addressed. Today, in honor of this dynamic mentor mentor and role model, I'm going to address an issue relating to the future of the nation, and that is the children, which, if care is not taken, an urgent action and attention given to, there may be another mess. The title of this lecture is Reevaluating the Juvenile and Child Justice System in Nigeria. Before I go on with the lecture, when the Attorney General of the Federation was giving his welcome address, he had already given a lecture. He had given the recommendations. So I'm happy that he knows what is happening and from what he has said that is going to take action. So please thank him for us and we are looking forward to the actions that are going to be taken. Thank you. Now I'll go on to my lecture. The introduction. Children form an integral part of any society and children are special gift from God. They are to be protected, guided and guarded. It is not in doubt that they constitute one of the most vulnerable and powerless members of the society. Okonko stated that they require gentle handling and special attention in the protection and promotion of their interests, welfare and rights. The United Nations at the Seventh Congress approved the standard minimum rules for the administration of juvenile justice in 1985. In the preamble, it is stated that the United Nations recognizes that the young, owing to their early stage of human development, require particular care and assistance with regard to physical, mental, and social development, and require legal protection in conditions of peace, freedom, dignity, and security. This was again reinstated at the regional level in the African Charter on the Rights and Welfare of the Child. However, despite this special position, the child has, throughout the history of mankind, been abused, treated unkindly, and their rights violated. This is one of the world's social problems, and it has attracted serious concern. As far back as 2270 BC, references were made generally to children and young persons. Even the Code of Amurabi over 4,000 years ago included references to runaway children who disobeyed their parents and those who caused fathers. Even in the Roman civil law and the church law over 2,000 years ago, distinguished between juveniles and adults based on the age of responsibility. <coughs> also, in the early Jewish law, the Muslim law, the Roman law, even the Anglo-Saxon common law all made reference to children. The modern juvenile justice system is a relatively recent innovation as the history can be traced to the late 18,000s. This period in history of Britain that crimes and misbehavior by children and young persons were redefined and separate and distinct from adult offending. In Nigeria, at the federal and state levels, steps have been taken and are still being taken to ensure that the rights of children and young persons are enforced in order to meet the international standards on the rights of the child as provided for by the United Nations and other international and regional bodies. Despite all the efforts at the various levels, children and young persons are yet to be properly positioned and the protection of children is still an issue of concern. Now, the starting point of this paper. 
This paper was initially titled Revaluation of the Juvenile Justice System in Nigeria. But I want to place this title in its proper place with the applicable laws relating to children and young persons in Nigeria. While at the federal level, the applicable law is the Child's Rights Act 2003, in some states of the Federation, the Child's Rights Law applies. In some other states, it is the Children and Young Persons Law that is still applicable. Under the Child's Rights Act and the Child's Rights Law, the child is only to be subjected to the child justice system. In states where the Children and Young Persons Law apply, the child comes under the juvenile justice system. Therefore, this paper will not be considering the juvenile justice system alone, but I'm going to retitle it re-evaluation of both the child justice system and the juvenile justice system. The highlights of this paper, I'll be talking about the traditional societies the modern juvenile justice system, I'll have a discourse about um, a comparative analysis of uh, selected jurisdictions and then go to the re-evaluation and I conclude with recommendations. Now, the traditional juvenile justice paradigm in Nigeria. Under the traditional Nigerian system, the child is regarded as a pride of the family. This is depicted in the names given to the child and in proverbs and idioms amongst the people. 